crime scene tape is still up here on Galt Street nearly two days later. This is where Norfolk police say they found Marie Covington's body late Saturday night. And these court documents are shedding light on the moments leading up to that gruesome discovery. This criminal complaint revealing how Norfolk police linked 43-year-old Gary Morton to Covington's murder. It started early Saturday morning. Court documents showing state police attempted to pull Morton over for a traffic stop on Interstate 64. But he started speeding away, driving 115 miles per hour. A police chase then followed, and according to the paperwork, Morton got out of the SUV and tried to run away moments before he was arrested. Inside the car, officers say they found two semi-automatic pistols and an open bottle of alcohol, charging him with DWI, among other charges. Several hours later, state police issuing an alert for Covington after she went missing in Virginia Beach last Wednesday. But just a couple hours after that alert went out, it was canceled and Covington was found dead. Norfolk police discovering her body late Saturday night in the old Huntersville neighborhood off Tidewater Drive. We went to Covington's Virginia Beach home Monday afternoon. Neighbors tell us they're sad to hear the disturbing news. They say she was a mother and a kind woman. The relationship between Covington and Morton is unclear. Morton was arraigned in Chesapeake City Court Monday morning, and that's where he's currently being held. Police say he was driving without a license and under the influence of alcohol. He'll be in Norfolk City Court this Thursday for the murder charge. In Norfolk, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.